One of the most popular paracord bracelets, and perhaps the most popular paracord bracelet this last year, has been the Mad Max style bracelet from the recent movie that came out. It's basically just going to be a cobra stitch, but ours is going to be without a buckle. So for this project, you're going to need 10 feet of paracord. We're using the color moss, a pair of scissors or other cutting instrument, a lighter for heat sealing the ends, and either a forceps or a fid for some of the knotting work. To start, we're going to need to find the middle of our paracord. So take both ends, stretch it out, and find the middle. And then you're going to wrap it around your wrist. Mark where it, it touches, and then back off about one inch. And that's where we're going to start our weave. It's going to seem like a shorter bracelet, but that's because of our adjustable closure. So if you know the Cobra stitch, it's pretty simple once you, once you get it down. You're just going to cross over with one side, and then bend over with the other one, around the back, and then through this loop, and pull it through. And for this first one, it's kind of tricky. You gotta hold on to all of your cords so you don't get messed up. And once you get that first one down, you're gonna want to measure your wrist again. Yep, about an inch short of my wrist there. So that's really your first stitch. So the same cord that was on top before, it's gonna be the other side, but the same cord. Cross that over again. The other one over the top of that, around the back, and through the loop. You're going to notice a pattern starting to develop. Right side over the top, around the back, and through. Left side on top, around the back, and on through. We're just going to keep on doing that pattern until we get to the bottom of our bracelet. Once your bracelet's about half done, it's going to look about like this. You see the cobra pattern emerging there. And all we're going to do is keep on going down to the bottom until you basically can't fit any more stitches on. Just remember your pattern of, of the one on top, crosses over, other one back around, and you switch cords every time. So at the end, this is what your brace should look like, with just a little bit of a, a hole there. And this is where the, the part where the fit comes in. So if you take your fit, which is basically just a needle with a threading on the inside of it, and screw your, your melted end into the, into the fit. This right side cord is going to go down through your loop. Just pull that all the way down through. And since I only have one fit here, I'm going to actually take it off of that one and put it onto my, my other cord. And if it doesn't have a nice end, you may need to melt it down to refinish it off so it'll actually screw on. And this left side cord is going to go through the loop too, but it's going to go up from the bottom. Once you have them through, it should look about like this. Now we're going to be making the adjustable closure. You can just leave your fit on that one side. And if it's the right side that's coming out, we're just going to go through that right side hole back where you started. Take your fit off that side. Put it back on the left one. And put that through the other hole that you're stuck. So at this point, we're going to measure our hand again. So just put it over your wrist and cinch it loosely on the widest part of your hand to make sure it can fit over. And that's where we're going to be putting a stopper knot so that it doesn't slide out through. So to do that, I'm going to make a loop on one side that curves around the front. And loop on the other side that curves around the back. The one in the front is going to wrap all the way around that and through that right side hole. This one that's already around back is going to flip through the front. And go through that hole. 
you're going to want to tighten that down right about at your, your closure there. Once you have that tightened down, you just want to make sure that your, your two cords are about even length. And then we're actually going to just kind of cut off the ends about between an eighth and a quarter of an inch away from your knot. And then we melt the ends. And you can press it down with either the side of your scissors or the side of your lighter, just to kind of smooth that off. And the same thing with the other cord. About an eighth to a quarter of an inch away. And that is the end of the bracelet. For more information, including links to all the supplies used in this video, check out the description below. If you like this tutorial, please consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.